Uh, I'm Simon Morla. Um, so I'm going to talk about um, conferencing. Um, so XCON and CCMP protocol, which is a technological piece, uh, uh, an open standard actually, that uh, we promote uh, for our video conferencing uh, service. So that's the button to how to switch. Oh, okay. Sorry. So just a, a few words uh, uh, of introduction. So it's me. I'm an original author of the LeanPhone software, which is an open source uh, SIP client. So SIP is the protocol for voice and video telephony over internet. And co-founder of Beldon Communication, which is a company I later created to uh, promote uh, the project. So here's a, a bit of history of the project. So at the beginning, it was a spare time activity. I started in 2001, so a long time ago. And about 10 years after, I created a, a, a company to uh, fully uh, work uh, on the LeanPhone project. So um, <clears throat> the company grew rapidly at the beginning of the 2010s, thanks to uh, smartphones, which is actually a very good device to make internet calls. Um, um, we later extend our product portfolio by launching server products that we call FlexiSIP. On 2018, we added group chat feature, still based on SIP protocol, with an end-to-end -end encryption protocol. Um, and then later on, uh, added uh, post-quantum, I mean end-to-end -end encryption robust to quantum computers uh, attacks. And we started uh, with uh, an audio conference, audio and video conference service in 2022, still based over SIP protocol. And nowadays uh, we are working hard uh, in releasing a 6.0 version of the LeanPhone software with brand new interface. So um, here's the plan. I'm going to explain the basics about what is XCON and CCMP protocol. What are its features and benefits? Um, using and lastly, I will say you a few words about how we integrate it in our products. So, understanding CCMP. So, all these are IETF initiative. Any anybody, every one of you knows what is IETF. Not sure for everyone. IETF is the informal organization that actually created all the standards for the internet. I would say all, maybe 99%. I don't know exactly. Um, DNS, email, um, IPv4, IPv6, um, HTTP, TLS, almost everything that we do, with, that we use every day uh, with internet was drafted and standardized at IETF. So in the early 2010, some people uh, think about what could be uh, an ideal centralized conferencing service with voice, audio, video, and chat. And they wrote an RFC that they called XCON that describes such a uh, framework for an ideal centralized video conferencing uh, with prerequisite on let's say, um, uh, uh, sorry, yeah, prerequisite. Um, and they later um, proposed a protocol that they called Centralized Conferencing Manipulation Protocol, which is a technology agnostic protocol to control conferencing service. So they, um, this um, protocol is based on an XML data mo model to represent what uh, a, cof a, an, a conference object can be. Uh, which is uh, another RFC. So this big picture is for you to understand what the scope of uh, CCMP is. So actually everyone has already uh, participated to a voice uh, or video conference, maybe as an organizer. So the first step is usually that you schedule the conference on a, maybe on a website, on an agenda, on a collaborative workspace, on an XMPP client, on a soft phone application. You choose invitees for your conference, and then you press an enter button, and then something happens that creates the conference on the conferencing service. 
And then the second step is when you participate to the conference and then there are other protocols uh, that will allow you to join with voice and video. So um, it can be SIP, it can be uh, other uh, legacy PSTN protocols, uh, a proprietary signaling protocol using uh, WebRTC uh, running inside a web browser, an XMPP client. So basically we have multiple ways to schedule a conference and multiple type of access method for the conferencing service. Such conferencing service may offer multiple of them or maybe one or few of them. So the main characteristic of this CCMP protocol is, so it's XML based, we are in the 2010, carried over HTTPS with the REST semantic. And uh, one of its uh, main interest is that the, um, it is a technology agnostic uh, in terms of uh, conferencing um, access method. So what are the features and benefits? Basically, um, what you can do with the CCMP is create a conference on a conferencing service. So you specify user, invitees, date, time, duration, repetition. You specify an admission policy, for example, whether the organizer has to manually approve entry for people that join to the conference. There are actually many of parameters that are made possible by this uh, protocol. And one specificity is that they thought about a uh, somewhat unusual conferencing feature which, that they call sidebar conference. So a sidebar conference, let's imagine you have a main conference with maybe 50 people, and then you want to create a second conference with a small set of people that can listen what is being discussed in the main conference, but they want to comment what is being discussed on the in the main conference. So what is being heard in the um, sidebar conference, of course, doesn't go in the main conference. So CCMP protocol propose um, semantics to, uh, to uh, realize such a um, feature. And then, of course, you can retrieve as an organizer or as a user the list of all scheduled conferences you are part of. So, as I said, the abstraction of conferencing technology is, uh, is uh, a, a main, uh, an essential feature of uh, CCMP. So, there can be several access protocols for the, for the conference, like SIP, which is the one we use in Infone, but others, uh, XMPP, uh, a signaling protocol uh, custom-made uh, uh, associated with WebRTC. Just to give you a bit of background, Weber, we often compare SIP and WebRTC. Actually, that's quite different things. Um, WebRTC is a W3C API and technology to basically send audio and video uh, through the internet what, to one IP address to another IP address. But it doesn't care about when and where to send uh, these video stream. That's the role of the signaling protocol. A user uh, may use one or some of them at its convenience. So, oops, sorry. Their proposed solution is uh, relies on uh, two uh, new uh, URI chains, one to refer to a conference object. So, um, this conference object uh, URI is um, technology agnostic. I mean that people that later join to the conference object by either using a CPURI, a phone number, or, or an HTTPS link. And we have a XCON user ID uh, shame to refer to a user, and a user can uh, have multiple communication accounts for SIP, XMPP, phone number. So, uh, of course, this doing this implies that there is a database to map users and their respective communication accounts. So we can imagine, for example, in a company, uh, LDAP or Cardav um, um, software to, to perform this task. So what are the benefits of using CCMP? So nowadays there are multiple, and I would say numerous conferencing um, audio-video conferencing services using different technologies. Um, 
CCMP is the bridge for between, on one hand, software where you may need to create a conference, to schedule a conference, to, I mean, invite people to join a conference, and on the other side, the conferencing system that may use different kind of technologies. So, thanks to the standardization effort, we can have a world where actually um, uh, software and conferencing service can speak the same language. So, it's a standardization of the interface uh, with conferencing system with many benefits. Uh, generic integration with collaboration tools, websites, or phone, and of course, reduced effort. I mean that you don't have to, uh, as a client software, to support the various uh, kind of APIs to uh, create a conference for the different uh, vendors of conferencing services. So, I know you are very curious to know how it looks like. So it's XML, so it's very verbose. Sorry for this. I actually removed uh, a lot of uh, information from this basic conference creation request. So there are a lot of namespace uh, things uh, as usual with uh, XML. The important thing is in red. Here we have a user, Alice at example.com, that uh, requests a create operation within a CCMP conference request. And the server replies. Again, the response can be very long because the, the server can actually list many of the behaviors and parameters of the created conference. The um, important information is in red. Um, so basically, the server in the responses indicates that uh, the create operation was successful with a 200 OK uh, response. Uh, the XCON URI for the, um, for the conference object is abcdefg at example.com. And then within a conf URI's um, tag, XML tag, um, the server can provide the access point to later join the conference. So here I just put one, which is the CPS SIP secure URI uh, that you can use if you have a SIP client. You click on this and then you enter the conference. So as I said, this uh, response is actually uh, very lightweighted compared to what uh, the protocol and data model allows to, uh, to express. So how we use it uh, uh, practically in our product. So the Linfone application uh, is actually talking with our FlexiSIP uh, based uh, servers for, for the conferencing service. So we added a CCMP endpoint on our FlexiSIP products uh, portfolio that directly wrote uh, conference information in a database and this database, SQL, SQL database, is actually read by the conference server who when it receives the connection attempts, knows what to do with the participants. Um, <clears throat> also, I want to mention that we, um, we have been selected in a consortium called the Hexagon Project, which is a France 2030 um, project uh, sponsored by the government to create um, a collaborative suite, including mail, uh, agenda, uh, collaborative workplace, and um, uh, documentation, and uh, of course, voice and, and video uh, code and conference. So in the scope of the project, we had to offer an interface for all these third party tools to uh, interface with our conferencing system. And that's actually, that was the trigger for us to, um, to make the choice of CCMP. And that's the reason that uh, today I want to highlight this uh, protocol that is now more than 10 years old, but still uh, absolutely uh, uh, current for, for the current uh, technologies we use nowadays. So in the Linfone application, uh, basically, uh, 
uh, I just give you um, some uh, screenshots of the creation, conference creation view. So I would say very uh, classical. And the, the second uh, screenshot is uh, the view where you can see um, the list of conferences you are part of, either as an, an organizer or as, as a participant. So everything will be uh, CCMP powered in the 6.0 upcoming version, which is planned for uh, possibly end of June, July. We'll see. So before finishing, I just want to point you some additional resources in case you are interested in digging more and learning more about uh, these uh, protocols. These are the uh, RFCs from IETF uh, organization for, for all this uh, protocol. And our website, linfon.org. Thank you very much. Do you have any questions? Thank you, Simon. <laughs>